opportunities to host tonight's event to applaud the amazing work, both past and present, of the eighth grade classes at Walnut Middle School. It's especially wonderful to partner with educators like Kirsten Perry. This year's project, Opening the Doors to Vanport's History, tells the stories of what life was like at Vanport, Oregon, then, at the time, Oregon's third largest city. I just want to thank the people who experienced this time, and hopefully over the years we can come close to fully honoring their experiences. I am just uh, so proud of my speakers tonight, but also proud of all of my students for the hard work that they've done this past month. And four of the students are going to speak. Harlan, Seagal, Elisa, and Sarah. So we're going to begin with Harlan. Not in this Prince in good for us. Today we are opening doors to Vanport's history. My experience with this project was amazing. I learned about Vanport and their history. While doing this project, we got to work in groups and bring out the artistic side in ourselves. Speaking Spanish for all the Spanish here. Bienvenidos a todos y gracias por venir hoy. Mi nombre es Arlene y yo soy parte de la Cruz de Misfera en octavo grado. Hi everyone. Hi. My name is Sibal, and in my class, we did a project based on the Denver Club. It is especially important to remember there are still people in our society today who were lived in the Denver 1940s. By working with my group, I learned how research, use teamwork, and be artistic to show my understanding of the Denver history. There's so much to this project that was just amazing. It hit so many parts of what we've missed over the years. Because over the last three years in our school, we've been learning about ancient history, we've been learning about history in other countries, but we've barely touched upon what has been in our own community. The first explorers to reach America, the events of slavery, the Civil War. While these are important events in our history, textbooks leave out history closer to us. They don't teach us that Japanese Americans were sent here to the Expo Center, while it was a stockyard after the events of Pearl Harbor. I still wouldn't know what Vanport was today if teachers didn't take it into their own hands to teach us about our own town's rich history. So thank you for coming tonight and supporting us. We really appreciate it. So what's the one thing uh, over the few years you've done it now that has struck you teaching different groups of kids about the store or what they what has struck you the most? That they didn't know anything about it, <laughs> and it's their own community. But also that it's the thing that makes them the most curious and the most wanting to know about history because it's tied to the place that they live in. So it has an uh, extra layer of meaning to them. What's the one thing that, that either surprises them or shocks them? I think what shocks them the most is that, well, one, that there were integrated schools in Bamford at that time, but also that the only thing they did know prior to that was the flood of 48, and you know they, they didn't realize that it was an actual functioning city with a movie theater and you know uh, a college later on. They didn't know all these aspects of it that, like the actual daily life that and the people who made up the the city. Students actually want to learn about history that it's not just something in a textbook, it's something that ties them to their own community, it makes them curious. So I'd love to get just a couple, like a minute from each of you, and just talk a little bit. No pressure, you can say, you know, what's on your mind, or you can even give me part of your speech. That's totally fine, too. Um, tell me a little bit about why this project was important yeah. to you. Well, it was important to me because prior to this project, I had no idea what Vampire was. I had heard it, but I didn't know what it was or what it was or anything about it. So this project taught me that. So tell me a little bit about what um, impressed you. Oh, you? Yeah. yeah. Well, my door, I didn't know diversity. I think it was really clear to learn for diversity and how like, the schools yeah. are integrated and the, town, the rest of the town was segregated. <laughs> Yes. 